somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back and today we've got a special treat we are looking at the trailers for both invincible season two and the adam eve special let's check it out let's go adam eve i just want to talk about where you came from oh who is that powers came from origin Ooh. story you know how I used to say I could see molecules? I can also change them around. Move electrons from here to there. It's crazy. Maybe I'm a superhero. Get out of my way, kid. <laughs> I wonder whose voice that was. Why can't you just be normal? Your powers, you must stop using them. But I can help Oh! oh. I'm a government-designed super weapon. I'm a freaking... Ooh, don't do that guy. <laughs> no, the cape is cute. The name is. <laughs> oh, they even did it with the yeah. cutscene there. Yeah, nice. yeah. Like it. They did. Awesome. For some of you, it probably seemed like this day would never come. <laughs> it's fragile. Johnson. <laughs> Maybe you're even wondering if you're ready for this. For what comes next? You have no idea. What I'm capable of. Oh, yes! Oh, oh, oh boy. I didn't know who he was. Look at that. I don't fight friends because I would win. Never apologize for saving lives. There's only one way this kid goes back nice. out. Nice. And that's on a very short leash. I'm just happy helping people. You know people try to kill us every single day. Kevin, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. go down now. Maybe if you trained oh, more and complained less, we could get back to saving lives. Regional, there you go. Mark Thanks. Hamill, Zachary Quinto, Sterling K. Brown. Welcome, son of he who slayed my husband. Ben Short. Oh, jeez. Rhea Seahorn. Kill fast. Rhea Seahorn. Yeah. Peter Collin. Viltrumite against Viltrumite. That has not happened since the Great Purge. Oh. <laughs> you should have died at birth. Oh. 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 Let's run that back one more time. That was. Oh. I feel like as short as that was, that was we're running it back, folks. All right. Wow. And it's good For to see some of you. It's awesome to see Carl Winslow again. Like this day would never come. <laughs> Mark's not at graduation. Maybe you're even wondering if you're ready for this. Neither of them. For what comes next? You have no idea what I'm capable of. That was intense. I Sandra. Didn't know who he was. She did great as the mom. Yeah. Look at that carnage. Fight friends because I would win. We got Never that guy back. For saving lives. There's only one way this kid goes he's back coming out. back. And that's on a very short leash. I'm just happy helping people. You know people try to kill us every yeah. single day, right? <laughs> <I don't care. laughs> oh, that was a badass <laughs> shot right there. Maybe oh, he was working on the uh, the twins there. Uh, get back to saving lives. Michael Richardson, obviously. And joining season two, let's let Make them pay. Sterling let's let this all load Welcome and we'll look at names. Ben Schwartz, Paul of Tompkins. Human superhero. Oh, Glissa Flockhart, too. I miss that. Lamar. Ask questions later. Peter Collin. Yeah. Look at this list. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've been... Jay Fora. Yeah, I mean, I don't recognize a ton of the names outside of like Rhea Seahorn, Leah Thompson. You know, we had Cliff Rob Curtis Delaney on there sounds earlier. familiar. Glissa Flockhart, obviously. Um, yep. Chloe Bennett, she was in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Chloe, yep, Chloe Bennett sounds familiar. I'm Phil, glad Phil Rhea Lamar Seahorn. was a uh, Mad TV glory days. You know, just, what's great is to see in Rhea Seahorn after the awesome performance in Better Call Saul. Yeah, oh, she's got a very recognizable voice. That's going to be awesome. I wonder who she's going to be. I hope <laughs> you know. They just, they just get on the phone and call everybody. Everyone, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're, we need you to be part of this show. Well, I, you know what's funny because remember earlier in Invincible, we had all these stars, right? Mm. And then in the first five minutes, they were gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. Oh, it's yeah, right. I suppose they might. Hey, yeah. like three quarters you, of them are probably can gone. Can we get you for yeah. five minutes? Just this quick thing. Uh, just, no, I was just saying, yeah, just uh, this quick thing. And so the other thing is, you guys, I don't know if you remember, but everybody 
you were saying uh, season one was nothing compared to the comics. So I'm wondering if you all are right now. Season two is just going to be. Season one was unbelievable. Yep. Uh-huh. We don't know nothing about the comics, so we lean on you for that. But you guys are saying, you know, <laughs> this is nothing. Season one was nothing, and it was fantastic. So yeah. I can only imagine what season two is going to be like if we had all that awesome chaos yeah. in season one. I wonder if they'll go like more aggressive, you know, now that yeah, that's exactly what I was saying. Are they going to go even gorier? Yeah, yeah. It's I mean, like they, they tested the waters, they saw it was okay. Like, all right, we yeah, got well, I mean, like, 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 they uh, smash the guy's head in the first episode. Yeah, so. I mean, they, they definitely pushed boundaries big time as far as what is too graphic for uh, you know, an animated series. And I feel like it did so well that they might be like, yeah. well, what if we went a little bit further? I mean, you know, when you think about a show like The Boys, I mean, they go as far far in that left field as you can go and they're still wildly successful so i wonder if they think hey we could probably push it a little bit as long as we know who we audience our audience is yeah. this um, isn't saturday morning it. cartoons anymore no. right? <laughs> i remember no. as a kid the first time i heard a swear word in a cartoon i was like <gasps> what is this it was a big deal <laughs> quick question for all of you if you're still here at this at this part with the comic seeing like you guys were saying the gore in season one and all that fun stuff, which was great. Is it like that, at least that level in the comic, or is it even, you know, mm-hmm. gorier in the comic? I think, I want to say there were some comments that, they a lot of comments were just kind of like, you know, borderlining, trying not to spoil us, yeah. but okay. don't spoil us. Uh, yeah. But I, I'm just curious if the comic goes even yeah. gorier than what What's the show. it more of? I mean, is it gore? Is it violence? Is it language? Is it sexual situations? I mean, you can check all the boxes on the side of the TV. Like you see when we watch The Boys, you know, so you have that whole list. Yeah. Like, hey, we only got two out of the six this time. <laughs> so now, actually, folks, uh, a lot of you asked for us to check out the Mortal Kombat trailer because apparently I think. We kind of saw a little bit of a spoiler who's in there, but uh, we're going to roll and check this one out here. I think it's going to be good. A battle between good and Haven't evil played since is the first turn. one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Come on. Yeah. Oh, look, it looks more like JK. Yeah, with hair. Ermac. Who's that? Ermac. Ah, peacemaker. 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 Peacemaker with his desert eagle. <laughs> Quan Chi. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Can't remember who that is right there. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! yeah. Oh, that is awesome. And this is in Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Wow. That's going to be awesome. That's it. That is awesome. Oh, uh, so Taquita there's names right was there. the other one. Let's Jean-Claude Van Damme skin, skin for Johnny, Johnny Cage. Cage. That's awesome. <laughs> Pardon me if I sound like an idiot for the Mortal Kombat characters. I just haven't played in forever. Yeah. Right. But, um, but it is cool to see that Peacemaker. Let's go back to that shot because that was an amazing shot. Yep. I don't think we'll ever see that in live action ever. Like, look at that. <laughs> they did such a good job of it, too. Cena looks great. Uh-huh. They all look great. Uh, I'd love to see Omni-Man versus Peacemaker. I mean, oh, what a toss-up Dude, that I mean, would be. Battle, that would be. I mean, don't worry. I already have this pre-ordered. I'm, I'm looking <laughs> forward to this game. So is there, a, with the new Mortal Kombat, is there a, a story mode at all, or is it all Yeah, like there'll all, be a story mode. It's, so it's not all just It's taking place battle. after the last Mortal Kombat where Liu Kang became... Uh, God. So now okay. it goes back to the beginning of Mortal Kombat, Kombat 1 and starts from there. Mm-hmm. So Sub-Zero and Scorpion are actually working together and human no. instead of... So it's you know, not It's not just point. I pick my fighter, you pick your fighter and we yep. fight. There's a yeah. whole story mode. They've oh. done it the last several oh, Mortal me Kombats. In. I, <laughs> and, I didn't know. And I this mean, isn't the first time they've done stuff like this with these characters. Yeah. They've already had Alien in, Predator, Terminator, yeah, Old Rambo and in. Young, Rambo, yeah. uh, just to name a few, Freddy Krueger, yeah, Jason, Jason Voorhees. They've done a lot. Robocop. Yeah, see, I didn't know that they had like a... And it's, <laughs> again, this is going to sound ignorant to my point, but I didn't know they had a story mode because I was like, mm-hmm. I was always like okay you have these characters but it's still just a one-on-one fighting game like, like arcade there's no style. depth there yeah, yeah it's just yeah. an arcade game yeah, so it's, that's cool it started with right. mortal kombat quote-unquote nine or not this is yeah nine on playstation 3 that one had it <clears throat> where you could do a st- story mode and it was taking place one through three yes yeah, so and then like, since then it's furthered the story well i think we gonna be sweet <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think we can kind of say something may happen 
you may or may not already know about what we mean by that, but that's as that's as much of a teaser that we can give. There was a poll. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I mean. Like we're not going to outright say it, yeah. but something's something's going to happen. So that's all I'm going to say. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I can't wait. Send us over. All right, so that was. A lot of great banter on a lot of great shows and video games that we're seeing in the future. So for Diamond Dave, Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. 